you map the results, huh? but how do you get the information back to the sets who are not behind the computer? What, what kind of information do you get by SMS? Um, sorry. There's a couple of processes, and, uh, and the slides are and the slides are jumped. Is remember this is a we say this is a a very big collaborative issue. It is a platform that almost everybody is going to use moving here. So the idea is for all the magic areas, we actually mapped the organizations who are very good at that on the larger networks. So organize uh, for example, what is and interestingly enough is SMB. SMB is a Dutch organization. They are the best in water in Kenya. There's nobody else who does that. The others are local organizations. Those who do uh, treatment access, uh, education, is an education organization that actually has monitor, they have monitors at village level. But so the platform actually enhances their work. So part of the strategy that Monkey has mentioned is being able to tap on existing networks and for them simply to leverage on this. So the feedback loop is actually bought by text, but also bought by those strategic groups that are the public issues. What um, many colleagues at the Apple have been able to do through Traweza. Torres is another very specific media organization that actually scales up or amplifies work like this. So they have media money that they're able to use. Uh, so they've sort of bought media spaces. So all people like us do is not necessarily do media arrangements. We simply tap into that resource on the network. So they've tapped into community radio, local organizations, uh, fast moving consumer goods. amazing. Fast moving consumer goods. So if you buy a bread, for example, we are able to publish something on that piece of bread, on the wrapping of the bread. Like, uh, do you have any service to deliver issues or concerns? You can use this chat. If you can't use SMS, go to your pastor, go to your mosque, leader, go to this. They've been able to also make those arrangements where at, at every service or mass or at church, you know, you have an announcement after that, you have made a business. <laughs> community, so churches become that one tapping point. So at the end, they're able to give feedback when possible. In other instances, it's just taking advantage of community for other spaces. We curate the information and provide the time. Yeah. I have a question How useful is social media as, a, as data to really get information out? Because we tried in Germany and we just crap. And we, we looked at Twitter and we tried to get information out, and it was just crap. We couldn't get any interesting information out of it. How was that for you? Yeah, uh, what I, I can only give you by, by example from, uh, from the election, from the election observation, because we are actually taking this to scale. Uh, it's, it's using filters. Right? It's, it's what do you want to pull from that? And the problem with Twitter is you don't can pull from anything. If, if, there's a, if there's elections, if there's anything election in the world, you can just pull, uh, pull that out of the field. Uh, I think part of that is also the partnerships that you are going to realize is you need a time frame. For example, uh, with the service the, the, the delivery one, there's actually a parallel campaign mechanism. Organizations that do civic engagement. So it means the groups that will engage in that will actually be, be talking to, to, to blogging community, to charities that to give, and they'll already be sensitized in that. So the kind of content may not be totally covered. We're very aware. <laughs> we are very aware of that. But if you look at a larger, a larger part of our stream, is not It's a service. So we're very clear. Germany, I don't know. Kenya, we know 24.9 we can't avoid. It's just, it's, it's our main channel, really. And even radios use SMS. So they'll tell you, well, ah, you've had this program, so send us an SMS feed. So our idea is also, we've actually tapped into those media radio SMS feeds. So anything about who do more of that is actually planned. Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, uh, one thing for you, uh, the, the other disadvantage uh, Twitter in refunding Uganda during elections is that it's extremely capital focused uh, uh, because that's where the only Twitter is on. So um, it also has a very big uh, geographical implication uh, to use Twitter as, data, as a source for news. And if you're going to put it on a map to show where stuff is going on, the moment you start using Twitter as, uh, uh, as an important uh, information source, your capital, it, it will just look like everything's going on the capital so you have to deal with the capital with that. Mm. Um, the uh, question I have for you is, what, um, this is, is extremely labor intensive, especially if you don't do follow up. How are you going to scale that up? Uh, that is why we say that the strategy is quite key. 
um, you have organizations with co competences. So Shahid and Sotnet are focusing, we focus on keeping Huduma real. Okay? So we, we focus on so that government doesn't appropriate the space. Big organizations don't appropriate the space. Uh, our devs, together with Kip, uh, Shahid devs focus on the development and the making of it. So a lot of these are more, they, they'll be shipped as they are. So you'll get it, Huduma will be shipped, but also with the strategy. So you simply just fill in fields and able to fly up there. What is important for us to realize also, is the conversation part that Kip is having right now. He's developing a dashboard in a way that if you talk to someone in the water sector, we do not need to engage with them in another conversation. We don't need to because we've already taken into their needs and considerations. Secondly, the, 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 the hosting is shared. Okay? So we are sharing the host, so nobody's going to do it again. Third, we have this community that any, any new plugins or development that come in, which is what we focus on in the future, will simply be seen the same way into the system. So for us, is we've actually identified the three critical pages, the, the home page, which is more how it needs to be visualized, the dashboards, which is more how the service provider needs to work with it, and the third phase is what kind of responses procedures need to generate. So the labor is now. After that, we've we have the you know, how, how you manage the volume? I mean, it says it's a success, you get a thousand messages a day. But you know, that has the thing. So the algorithm, the, uh, a lot of it is for the dashboard. It's not our business to look at the dashboard. No, no, it's not your problem. Exactly. But it, is the problem the service. it is a problem of the service provider. And what they're doing now together, that's why the UN and the World Bank are part of this, is to enhance the capacity to respond. That's it. So we, we are sort of now organize, sort of organizing how people should work. We are, we are still finding our way, we are still finding ourselves with this. And the reason why actually the Devolution Commission, which is whoever is planning for how country will be decentralized, will actually allocate a budget for the service providers to be able to do this. Rwanda, for example, Rwanda that has requested, Rwanda is really, they have, you know, Kagame is an awesome guy. All of them have, uh, let us black berries, <laughs> very nice, wide. And the free end. Interesting. Uh, do you track uh, what how the, the numbers of responses you get, the SMSs? Uh, do you track where they come come from? You got information on all of that? Can you map where everything? Is? We have that in the budget tool that I mentioned. All that. Uh, the, the interesting about the platform is because of. And, and that is another, so it's, it's interesting that I mentioned that. I didn't mention the other side of it. Uh, it's hard to build trust. It's really hard. So I don't know, in Kenya it works. It didn't work initially, but when people started seeing results, when people did see the backlash from the authority, then we got more consequences. So I think uh, initially we were very careful not to map where those sentences were coming from. We had even suggestions of, of sort of, of, of working, having sort of a geocode of that even being able to tell where somebody is sending an SMS from. Mm -hmm. And we had to we had to refuse that suggestion because I think we, we have the technology to do it. Google was really part of this, so they have the technology to do it. But legal is not, is not allowed. Is not allowed. It's probably the same thing. But to do by general, we, we can do by sort of a, uh, a, a general overview so that you know around that hospital, this is what was happening. Yeah. Um, we've been talking here about development cooperation and NGOs and uh, the International Aid Transparency Initiative, which is for bilateral, multilateral and NGOs. And I'm wondering, well, if you're monitoring service provision by the government, some of it will be funded by development cooperation, but it will also be possible to, to monitor service provision by NGOs. And, uh, it's there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's actually there. It's part of it. It's part of that. It's, yeah, it's part of that. Because a big part of it, remember, is uh, the government of Kenya is increasingly a regulator, not a provider. Is what we're increasing with the so. mm -hmm. Even water, for example, is provided by there's a water company that actually does the water provision. Okay. What we're increasingly seeing is trying to map all that and then getting, and, and, and what happens is we're actually getting the responsible person, both at the company but also at the government level, so that they can get sort of a level of accountability. The company doesn't care what I do, but the government will because I need to let them in the next election. Um, NGOs, it's been difficult, I will not say. It's been easy. Uh, we talked to, this field was quite open to it. Uh, foundation say they had to consult. <laughs> so you, you can actually see that. It, it's, it's not, interestingly for us, government has been easier than NGOs. It's sad to say it. But that is what is increasingly 
becoming a And what, do, what type of information do NGOs project have to give to you in order to, to cover, cover them by the system? Okay. Uh, a, a lot of organizations and service providers. So they say they sort of provide education, they provide order, they provide this. That is the kind of information they need. Mm -hmm. uh, fund by service by area. Where, how much, and mm -hmm. what are they doing? That is important for us. A lot of, if you talk to a lot of the government officials, for example, in Kibera, the MSF, the Medicines and Frontiers, was actually providing help. And government will say, why do we allocate money for Kibera if Medicines and Frontiers actually provides that? Well, what I'm thinking about is the current standard that exists in the International Debate, the International Agents Press Initiative, with the, this information um, you know, standardized in the it's, it's, a, it's actually a discussion I'm having with. <laughs> yeah, we've actually been having it in the last two days. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.